one would have believed. So then we can skip any cutscenes, you just gotta hold the uh, A or B button. I'm super sorry, I completely forgot which one it is. But yeah, if you just hold on to one of those, that's gonna skip the cutscene and we've got a few things to do as we innocently buy some toilet roll for our diarrhea escapades. So head straight a little bit and this is where the uh, diarrhea escapaded toilet roll is. Go to the back of the shop, then we gotta pick up some cereal. I don't know what kind of party we are planning. And then to the left of you then is where the milk is. So, cereal, milk and toilet roll. That's, uh, hey, that's one hell of a party, baby. Ish. Anyway, um, head into the, uh, you've got to head to the tills right here. Pick up the key first. And then we can actually head into the office. Now, there's nothing in here, but I do like this little note. Basically, just talks about COVID and everything that's going on. I thought that was slightly neat to put into the game. But with that, we can actually now just move on. And the way we do that, you just interact with the middle of the till. She's going to put some money down, even though there's nobody about. And in real life, in the reality of real life, a lot of people would be like, yeah, nobody's here. I guess I'm just taking this. And they take a lot more than the diarrhea escapated toilet roll, uh, some cereal and some milk. Just saying. Now, this next section is... It's a few minutes long. I mean, if the cutscenes are very interesting... And it's worth having a look at them just to sort of, you know, see what's going on. Now, normally you can uh, sprint by pressing the left bumper button, but you can't in this particular section because, as you can just see, she starts falling down on her knees. I suppose if you're injured that badly, you're not going to want to sprint, really, are you? Unless, of course, you use St. Bolt, who seems to just sprint through everything. Legend! Anyway, there's not a lot going on. Uh, the music has been. Uh, I've got rid of the music purely for copyright reasons and there's literally like I said it this is about five or six minutes of just um, walking basically straight not a lot else to go on about here but you just follow the burning trees and you will find your way
So this is the end of this section then. Um, what we're going to see is a little first aid kit just in front of us. So make sure to pick that up with the X button. Um, but anytime you ever want to use a first aid kit, basically you can only hold one at a time. Obviously kind of trying to be as realistic as they can, which is annoying in some cases. Uh, so there, pick it up with the X button and then just hold the X button if you ever need to use it. And then we can just sprint on forward like now. So hold it, then you should be able to sprint forward and jobs are good. And now we're on to the sort of first main level and we've got a couple of missable achievements that we're going to be doing first. So if you hold the right bumper to focus, that sort of shows where the enemies are. You crouch, it shows where the enemies are. And then we can... Then, well, then we can just go from there. But what we're going to be doing then is getting up and then chasing this little piggy. We need to chase this little piggy all the way home. Um, because our mother gave us no re roast beef. Uh, oh, damn it! I went to do something with the nursery around there and I completely balls it up. So just keep following the piggy for now. It's going to head to the left slightly. It should not go in any sort of random direction so don't worry about that it should always follow the same sort of linear path uh, here are first aid tents you can use to upgrade your characters but we're going to hold off the upgrading for now um, until a little bit later on in the game so just keep following the piggy and this section we're going to get our first achievement you can see a bunch of goalposts on the right hand side we just ran past there's a ball right in front of it, so what you need to do is get out your inner Paul Scholes, Steve Lampard, Frank Gerrard. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just joking. The old Lampardo, the old Scholesy, the old Gerardo. Try and not do what I do and completely suck balls at this. I'm playing like a San Marino team right here. No offense to the San Marinians, of course. There we go, so... There we go, Rude Van Nistelrooy from about one yard out, legend of the game, banging. So that should be your first achievement anyway, so score the goal and then run after. Can you turn me Miss Piggy? So we'll just keep running, and eventually little Miss Piggy is going to go into a pen, and that is going to get us the second achievement already, which is quite nice. But yeah, like I said, when it does come to upgrades... You can upgrade a character if you're struggling on any certain parts and then you'll just have to go through the first part of the game again until you get enough points to upgrade uh, the rest of it. And there we go. So just uh, press X on the gate. That'll be the second achievement. And now we've got a couple of things to do. Um, but like I said, the game should be easy enough where we can just go through the majority of the game and get all the upgrades done in sort of one fell swoop without having to replay the game. So for now, we're just going to head to the house, and we're going to head on into the inside. Now, there are plenty of notes and things to read in the game. They're not necessary for any collectibles or achievements. It's just pure for story relations. So if you want to read them, be my guest, but we won't. So the alarm's going off now, so we need to put in the code 0451, and that is what stops the code. Don't worry, there are no enemies that are going to come and kill you just yet, but it is 0451, and that will stop the alarm. Tidy buddy! So that's the alarm done, and now it's going to, um, basically, if we pick up the backpack from the back of the... Um, room there and it's basically going to tell us about our health now on the right hand side of the backpack You can see a little heart with a white circle around it. That's our health now Of course the more the white bar goes down the more the less health that we have uh, Pick up the torch off this kitchen cabinet here And then for me it was pressing the down on the d-pad button to use the torch. It's going to come in handy Obviously as torches do in most dark <laughs> lighted games Dark lighted games, that makes perfect sense, right? Um, in most dark sort of stealthy games. And anyway, we're going to head up the stairs. Like I said, no worries about enemies. There are no enemies, even though the music is quite tense. Which is definitely one of the plus points about this game. And anyway, head through the door. We're going through the last door on the left right here. If we can get through. Uh, you can pick up this audio recording. Again, it's not uh, necessary for any achievements, but more for story. But it's worth having a look at anyway. 
And then what we're going to do then is just head through the door that was behind you and the room we came out of. Sorry, apologies about that. Can get slightly confusing sometimes. Go to the door on the left though. And we need to head to the left hand side table. Not this one, but just the one on the right. We've got an item that we're going to need to be picking up. Now there are quite a few items that we need to pick up in order to... Uh, make some weapons a little bit later on, but we're not going to worry about that for now. So we're going to head down the stairs, sprinting again using, of course, the left bumper button. And what we're going to be doing is creepily, as always, heading into a basement. So we'll go through this first door here, and then this next door straight in front of us. And then just by the stairs, go to the left, and this is where we're going to be going. Again, watch out for the BOO! Ah, <laughs> see, I scared you, didn't I? Probably not. Anyway, head to the back, down to the right, and there is an item right next to dead man's dead stuff right here. Okay. Wow, he looks delicious. And this is what I mean about the music. Definitely one of the plus points about this game is the sort of music and sound effects get incredibly tense, and it does make you poopy pants a little. Which, I'd go and wipe if I were you, to be honest, but that's okay. So now we are going to head out <laughs> through the main entrance. Um, but again, like I said, even though the music and sound effects can get quite tense at the minute, there are still no enemies, so that's nice. Anyway, what we're going to be doing now is basically for the upgrades, we need to be collecting things called uh, red moss weeds, or red weed moss, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, and basically, like I said, collecting as many as you can through this playthrough will enable us to get um, all of the upgrades later on, so you need to be sort of watching quite carefully what I'm doing and to be able to get as many as we can. So, go through the slaughterhouse, have a little uh, slap through the old pig, slap its bows or anything, and then go through to the right and just over these boxes, and we're going to be um, going up these stairs. And this is where we're going to learn about uh, throwing throwables. The throwably throwables. Now, to get said um, throwable out in your menu, what you have to do is um, go onto your D-pad, right or left, choose what you want to choose, and then press the up button to actually choose it. Hold the left trigger to aim, and then throw the right trigger to actually throw it. So press the X button on this button, and then what you need to do is the button on the back wall. So... Press the up to actually equip it into your hand. Press the left trigger and then the right trigger. It, it can be a bit finicky. There's quite a lot of things that can be quite finicky about this game, to be honest. Um, generally, this game could have been so much more than it is. But that is that. So we'll have a little dig about that later on. So we're going to head down these steps. And for some reason, again, uh, Harper here can get caught on various nothings, which is bloody annoying. I actually crapped my pants the first time we come through here. I thought somebody was out to get me and it was just beautifully looking disgusting pig stuffs in your face. I bet it smells delicious. Anyway, go through the L pigs and then we uh, grab the keys off this wall by the double doors here and then we can head out. Now that we're out of there, now we're going to start collecting the um, red moss weed things. As you can see, they're just like little, kind of look like little balls with red piss coming out of them. Um, but these are necessary for the upgrades. So, obviously we need to be collecting quite a lot of these. So just make sure to follow where I'm going and pick up as many as you can, as much as I do as well. So we're going to head sort of back on ourselves, uh, where we started chasing the pig at the very beginning of the game. Heading to where the goalposts are, and then on the left-hand side there is going to be another red bit of weed. I'm just going to call it red weed because it's funnier. And people like weed, apparently. M more than moss, so I've heard. And we're just going all the way around. We're going to be getting another bit of red weed. Uh, but you can't actually jump the fences, which... It's a bit annoying, no matter how small, you can't jump them. So we need to go through to where the door is, but go to the left, and there's going to be another one right here. So make sure to pick that one up. And if you go directly back on yourself, rather than walking into the wall like I did for some reason, then we're going to be grabbing 
a wine bottle, but they're all, these are all going to come in handy for the throwables that we need to make later on. So you need to get a few items just to strap them together so, to be able to throw it, even though I thought throwing a wine bottle would have been fine. So head to the right, next to this sort of lake li little area. This one is easily missed. Just make sure to pick that one up as well. And the one on the bench. Stupid birds. God damn, poop my ass off. And then head sort of towards the tractor to this well lit building. Now it's going to tell us that we can actually make our first thing um, called a water jar. Again, wine is basically liquid water, right? We could have just thrown that, but that's fine. But apparently the game doesn't want us to do that. So <laughs> what we need to do then, just keep on heading straight up to the next building. From where you've just seen the car there, just go straight. And we're going to get another bit of weed in our lungs. We're going to love it. But it's not through this door. Yeah, piss off, Bert. And it's not through this electrocuting door, because of course that equals death. But it is on this door um, to the uh, at the very end. And we need to crouch to get under. And this is where the bit of red weed is going to be. Right on top of this box. And now we're going to head to that first A10 to do our first and only upgrade um, for now. Um, this one is basically unmissable, so we head to the right and up to where this sort of lorry or this trailer is parked. To the left and then to the right is where you'll find your first A10. Now all upgrades are done on this laptop, um, as you'll be able to see in a minute. But like I said, this one we need to upgrade this one, but... We will not be doing any other upgrades until a little bit further on in the game where we have enough. Uh, you need about 220 of this red weed. Um, so just press confirm on the water jar there. Um, but again, if you do struggle through the game, you can upgrade your character to have more health, etc, etc. And then you'll just have to re replay the game until you get enough weed again to be able to um, get the other achievement. But like I said, it's an easy, it is an easy enough game anyway um, to be able to sort of hold off. But like I said, you've always got those options anyway. So make sure to craft one water jar there. And then we're going to head back to that same area where we just found our last bit of red weed. So we need to go past down the trailer. And this time we're going to head through the middle door where the electric on a cushion is. It's fine to go into the first area. It's just jump. Don't jump over the fence yet because you would die. And electrocution hurts. So if you turn around, you're going to see where the, um, where the generator is. So again, remember to press the right on the D-pad to get, uh, get your jar there. Press up on the D-pad to uh, get it out, to interact with it. Left trigger to aim, right trigger to throw. That should get rid of the electric on a cushion. And now we can jump over lovely, grab the valve on the right hand side there, and get the fudge on out of me. In fact, we are almost done with this area now, so we're going to head left out of the door, and then we're going to see the building with the lights just in front of us with the big tank. We're going past that, uh, but this is the building that we need. So, turn around, there it is, just interact with it, the valve will go on automatically, then you've just got to keep holding the left stick until Harper opens it up, opens up the gate, and then that's, this is basically the end, then we've got a nice little driving section, very easy, um, but yes... There we go. I mean, she takes a sweet time. She should have put on, uh, gone on some steroids before the whole uh, machines came down. But I suppose you never know when that's going to happen. So all we need to do then, just interact with the car. Lovely. Press the right trigger to drive. The left stick to obviously move, just like your character. And that's all there is. A, a lovely little song is going to happen again. It's going to be quiet here because there is the copyright issue. But it is just one long straight road. So I'm going to let you enjoy this. Unless you want me to be all like, blah, 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 blah. no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs>
Now, who the hell seen that coming? Oh, we've broken down right in the middle of nowhere. Just typical. Uh, so what we're going to do then is just keep heading down and there's going to be a little garage that we can go into. It's very easy. You can't really miss it. But oh, how typical in a game where we need to get away and the car doesn't work. So once we're inside then we're going to be getting a bit of the old red puffy weeds so the first things first just go to the left into the bathroom right here and sitting lovely on a toilet with all poop germs all over it is the first bit of red weed. Don't worry there is no enemy in here just yet and if you go to the right go into the next bathroom there's going to be another one sitting on a sink at least that's a little bit cleaner I suppose unless the machine have like epic poop germs gross. Um, take a look then, um, pick up something that was from the toilet, and there's going to be a couple of what's called basics, and we just need to pick all them up as well. They all come in handy a lot later on, so it's always worth picking them up for now. So go ahead, go into the next room, because there's a few things that we're going to be picking up. The first one is the key, so we should have grabbed that off the wall. Um, there's a first aid kit there just on top that I'm trying to get and there's a bit of red weed as well just on the table there So make sure to pick that up. So you've got a first aid kit the key and a bit of red weed as well There is a phone you can interact with if you want again That's just all story stuff head into the bathroom and grab this next bit of red weedy sticky puffy yum yum boy And then we can just head on out of here go to the left and then if we go behind the desk, before going through the door, you can just see the red, sticky, yum-yum weed, moss, whatever the hell it's called, <laughs> um, just on the tail there. Now, this is where our first enemy is going to be. Um, now, Harper cannot attack enemies. Instead, we've got to um, either just run away. A lot of the time, we will be running from enemies, because they can hit us a couple of times, but we should be good. Um, but we cannot attack, because for some reason, Harper can't pick up a knife and just stab him. For some reason, which is a shame, but what we are going to be doing is getting our third achievement of the game, and this is for basically um, killing him by squashing him with the car, so there we go. So I'm at the wrong one, basically the car, as you can see, is just on the front one there. As soon as he goes to hit, Harper will sort of shield herself. Now if you move sort of left or right very quickly, um, she might be able to dodge it a lot of the time. Yeah, thank you. Materials don't really care at this point in time. Uh, but this is the button that we need to be getting. So if you miss him, just put it back up. And obviously we need to sort of coax him underneath. Uh, this may take a good couple of minutes. Really just depends on how far he goes and where he goes. As you can see, he smashed me, but he's missing again. So again, this may take just a couple of minutes. It's not it's not too bad though, uh, the checkpoint if you do end up, I asked to actually kill him here, even though he didn't get crushed by the car, but honey, I'm going to take it. So if you do die, the checkpoint is not too bad, you start just a couple of minutes um, before here. Uh, now what we're going to do is just grab everything that we can on the tables, so just make sure before you leave, just grab everything that we can on the tables, including the red sticky weed. If you do die... Sadly, you will have to collect everything again. That includes the red sticky weed stuff that we need to collect for the upgrades. So, if you die, uh, the checkpoints are sometimes not great in this game, in all fairness. You, it doesn't tell you when there's a checkpoint, so it's sometimes just a guessing thing. Uh, but after you grab everything, everything in that room, that is when we can head back out. So yes, just be very careful with that one then. Um, if you do end up dying for whatever reason, sadly you are going to have to just pick everything back up that you just picked up. So just keep that one in mind. So then, now we're going to be doing quite a bit of exploring through each building just to get, again, a lot of that sort of red moss weed that we need. Um, there are enemies about, but a lot of the time we will be running away from them. So go into this first building here on the left. Uh, just pick up everything that you can. 
Uh, make sure to grab the red weed on the table. And there's one behind the till right there as well. So that should be two. And then we can just head out of this building. And go to the left. Again, there's no enemies at this point, so feel free to sort of shout and run about and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Go into this delicious looking restaurant with nobody in it. And as you can see, just on the back right hand corner there, there is a bit of that red moss weed, so grab that. And just before we leave then, go behind the till or the desk. Uh, we're going to pick up another item there, and we're also going to pick up some more red mossy wee wee weed. So we can grab that, now we can leave from whence we came, and eventually if Harper doesn't keep getting stuck on stuff. And then to the right slightly, we're going back into the supermarket that we were in seemingly earlier on. Now there is some red sticky weed just on the shelf right there by the door, so make sure to pick that one up as well. And then if we head sort of to the front of the desk again. Honestly, the music and everything is fantastic in this game. It really, really gives you this tense sort of atmospheric vibe. It is brilliant. Uh, but head over. And on the left-hand side first, grab the first aid kit. And, well, uh, there is another bit of red sticky moss weed there that we need to grab as well. So make sure to grab that. If you do come across a first aid kit, um, press and hold. And, and you don't pick it up. Press and hold to sort of heal yourself fully and then pick it up. Um, just so you're not leaving it behind. So we're going to head up now. And just go to where that sort of blue neon sign is. And that is where another bit of red weedy weedy moss moss is. So it's very important that you've got to be picking these up. Purely just for the upgrades later. And then head into the last building on the right here. Again we're going to be grabbing just a couple of items here. Including some red weedy wee wees. So pick up that item there. And then if we go to the sort of left back corner, there's going to be another one. And then we're just going to head behind the bar. Sadly, we're not going to just quickly pour ourselves a, a pint um, post-Covid. Which is a goddamn shame, because I could really do one of them right now. <laughs> but we are going to look behind the barrels on the bottom of the shelf to get another ro red bit of moss there for our upgradios. And then basically we can now just exit. So we're going through the exit, through the back, not the entrance where we came. Uh, you can see a first aid tent there. But if we go directly to the right, next to these two yellow bins, there's going to be another bit of red moss weed. It does say it literally right there, but red moss weed will do it better or whatever the hell I just said. Go ahead, pick up this water on the table. And you can pick up that item if you can as well, if you're not all full up with items by now. And then we can just head on through the left, through this little gap in the fence here. Now, the enemies are going to start coming up very soon. So, again, just be on your guard. Uh, but if we go into this next building, grab this uh, rubber that is on the table. And then we're going to be heading up the steps. And directly in front of us, when we get there, on the shelf is another bit of red weedy wee wee wees. So turn to the left and we're going into the left open bathroom. Pick up the two items here that are on the floor. Again, like I said, all items are going to come in handy later on. So I am picking them up for reasons. And then we can just head back down. Uh, this time we go into the right to um, exit. So I go to the left here, but we actually need to go to the right. That is how we progress the story forward ever so slightly. And it takes me a couple of seconds to realise that. So, we're good, we're good, Bri. So this is where the enemies are going to start um, coming down now. So every time you see a, a lightning bolts and flashes, that means there are enemies that are going to want to shove a bat up your ass. And not in the nice kind either. All dry and make it hurt and stuff. But like I said, on the easy difficulty, um, we can't just run past them. So... Again, what, you, what you're supposed to do is just throw rocks at them to sort of distract them and sneak past. But we can't just run past. So go directly to your left. And directly left again. Go towards the end. And we can just climb up on top of these boxes and get through to the other side here. And just keep running straight on for the moment. Because they still can catch you. And um, we're going just underneath this little alcove here. But there are more enemies, so be aware of that. And we are still going to run, so run straight past. Keep going straight for the time being. Uh, nice machine, bro. Uh, this guy, you can flub off. 
<laughs> you missed. Head to the right. You can just see like a little green something in the distance. Um, but just um, go to this guy. He is fine. And a little cutting is going to happen again. Almost had you, that one. You okay? I think so. But... Oh, yeah, because you don't look crazy at all, do you, crazy homeless Joe? Anyway, before talking to him, go to the left. Again, there is going to be another bit of red mossy weed weed. And I believe that that is that for this section. And... All this going on. What an action, mate. I love it. I love the English action. Sorry. I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry to the English. That stunk. Anyway, all we're going to do is basically follow this guy <laughs> through, through the devil's ass, which is aptly hilariously named. So just enjoy not my voice for a couple of minutes. Come here. Follow me. It all started last week. The tremors, fog, the storms. But nobody could imagine what that meant. People around here don't scare easily. I'm used to the odd weather. But the tremors, we ain't used to those. Some worried it were the caverns beneath us, finally giving way, a century after the Victorians blew them into existence. I might have been among them. See with my own eyes. The machine. Oh, it was colossal, it was. Towering over the village. Held aloft on three curved legs. Like steel snakes. Twisting and winding into the ground. How nobody saw it is beyond me. They said I must have dreamt it. Labeled me a madman. Well, look at them now. Huddled together, hopelessly waiting for Big Brother to keep them safe. Not for me. Not for me at all. So just before you run on, just make sure to grab the red bit of moss weed by the generator here. And then you could just keep on running straight. And we have now hit the caves. Sorry, bro. I haven't got time to be talking and pissing around with you. Homeless Joe, we gotta go. Okay. Lovely. So we get our fourth achievement of the game. This is story related, so you won't miss this. Uh, but basically, we're going to be coming up now to a new enemy type. To be honest, very disappointingly, there's only two enemy types in the game. The guys with the bats and some blind women who can electrocute you to death. Um, yeah, so we're going to be heading sort of to the left and make sure to grab this bit of, <coughs> excuse me, red moss weed. And we can keep going and just grab this item that is on this sort of waterfall if you can. If not, it doesn't matter. Head next to what looks like a vending machine. And sort of to the left of that, we're going to climb up these rocks. <laughs> and if you follow it around, what we need to do is craft another water jar. So press the Y button, of course, to get your crafting menu up. And then just press A to construct one water jar. Again, D-pad, go to the right until it's on the water jar. Press up to equip it. Left trigger to aim, right trigger to throw, and that gets rid of that. Then we can just jump back down and be on our merry way. And as soon as we jump down here, if we head sort of to the right, um, through the only open gate, which was of course blocked before, this is where the second enemy type is. So um, press B of course to crouch. Now they're basically blind, and um, yeah, they are blind. They're severely controlled. They are blind, they scream like a goddamn Banshee, which does crap you up in certain situations. Um, 
so yeah, a lot of the time we will be um, using crouching methods and distraction methods, uh, just throwing rocks away. If you see the your reticle go red, completely stop. And they might start walking over, but they will eventually. As long as you stop, they can, are completely silent. Um, yeah, they should be fine. So, interact with that generator and immediately move to the left. Um, that is what old Wichita's is going to be distracted by. You can actually walk. Just make sure not to sprint and run. Otherwise, of course, they'll get you. So, head to the left and we're going to grab this um, bit of red moss right here. And if we head sort of in the middle, there's going to be another one that we are going to be collecting as well. So again, you just need to be very careful. If you, Again, try to ignore the screams. I know it's very um, scary, some of the screams. But if you see that the reticle goes yellow or red, um, just sort of hide behind a rock or something. And then eventually she will just piss off, Dan. Uh, but we will need to be grabbing that bit of red moss that is just in front of us there. As you can see, directly in front of us. Um, now again, like I said, it may be different in your games, where, I, whereas if you're faster or slower than me, she might be just in a different position. So just be wary of that, that's all, but that's not too bad. Um, but she can go and suck a big old chunky electrical boy, because we are done with this tiny little area. Of course, we do have a little bit left to go. Um, if we go straight ahead on the bench, we're going to see another bit of red moss, so again, make sure to pick that up. And if you are wanting to, make sure to grab these items again if you can, if your inventory is not full. Always worth doing because we're going to need a few water jars before we head off. And then we can just, again, slowly just walk on and walk through to the next section. And it's all straight from here, so don't try and get confused and do what I've done. Just keep going straight now. This next area, for some reason I kept dying very stupidly, but immediately go to the left when you get here and up this sort of, um, it's all straight, there's only one path at the minute, you should be fine, uh, pick up these couple of items on the floor and then head up to the left, again don't worry about the music, and pick uh, just pick up this red moss that's on the bench, this next item that's on the bench, and just what we're going to do is sprint back down and then there's going to be a gap straight in front of us that we can climb up. So press 8 to climb up there. So uh, we're going to grab another couple of red mosses right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to get a first aid kit. Remember if you've got um, low on health just press and hold the X button to use your first aid kit and then pick another one up. Now there is going to be an enemy that usually sort of comes around this whole area. Now. What I done for f about four times, I basically sprinted through, grabbed two moss, uh, the two red moss weeds, pulled the switch, and then I kept dying because it's very, because they're very fast and they are very after you. There is a room that is on the left that we have to go into, um, and they kept killing me there. So you can probably just get away with going where I'm going, but sprinting. For me, I ended up having to do this section quite slowly. Because I kept dying like a douchebag. Stupid electric biatches. How dare he? Anyway, so like I said, it is just the two uh, red weed mosses that we're going to be after. And that's why we're taking um, a little bit longer rather than just flicking a switch and sprinting for the exit. So just ignore chickity doodah right there. There is going to be another chickity doodah right here. No, of course she does walk fast, so just, um, again, depending on how fast uh, or much slower you are, the, the enemies for you may be in different places, so of course just keep that one in mind. And just remember, if the reticle starts going red, or if it starts getting a little bit too uncomfortable, and you start to poop El Pantos, just remember to stay completely still, and do not worry about the weird... Ass orgasm screaming. Who orgasms like that? <laughs> I hope nobody. Anyway, basically, there's like a sort of middle part in. Um, almost like a bridge we're just coming up to. Here it is. And this is where the red weed moss is. Now, you're probably thinking, what's the point um, of risking yourself just to do this? Um, it's definitely worth doing because by the time, like I said, that we get to the upgrades, you will then have enough. Um, to be able to 
just do the upgrades and be all sorted rather than mess around. So that should be the two that we've uh, collected. And I'll tell you why I kept dying. So we're just going to sneak back down. Again, if they're far enough away, you can walk. Don't sprint. But if they are far enough away, you can walk, which is fine. Uh, stick with the right-hand side. And you're going to see that little light on top. That is where we need to go through that door. And I will tell you where I kept dying. <laughs> so basically, we can go in. And there's going to be another bit of red me weed moss right on the floor right there. You pull the switch, and this is where I kept dying every single time. About four times, I think, I was dying there. But when you do that, now you can just literally just sprint straight past her, straight into the gap. And basically just keep sort of going to the right through the next door, and then keep going straight. And that basically ends the cave section. Hooray! Don't forget to pick up this red bit of weed moss once again. The enemy shouldn't really be chasing you, so you should be golden nuggets to go, boy. But, you know, keep sprinting anyway. Run off, Hapath! So then, for this next area, of course, there's always going to be enemies. And basically, what we're going to be doing is doing uh, a lot of running away from them. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of collecting things off table in this first little area. Um, again, if it's easier for you, you know, you can sort of stealth around him. There's only the one guy. But it is honestly easier just to go to uh, each table on the left-hand side here. There are about four. Make sure to grab the item of the uh, red hand weed from the second table there. And again, if the guy goes to start hitting you, just move left or right in order to try and dodge. And make sure to pick up this next um, weed, bit of red mead as well. Red mead, red weed. Now, there is a couple of tables here in the center. Quickly grab every item that you can, the sort of rubber hose and everything right there. And just <laughs> ignore that guy. He is around and he will try and uh, kill you. But like I said, if you sort of move, just move left or right. As he goes to hit you, you should be able to dodge it. Not all the time, though. Go straight in front of you to where it says the high voltage and climb up. He won't be able to get you, which is nice. But what we need to do now is actually craft a water jar. So again, press the Y button. Get your crafting menu up. Craft the water jar. Left trigger to aim. Right trigger to throw after you press up on the D-pad to get your water jar into your inventory, of course. And again, surely just... I mean, surely crafting one and then smashing the guy on the head... Would that not be a little bit easier and a little bit better? You know, knock him out. But hey, what do I know? I'm not Harper. Otherwise, I'd be looking at my boobs that day. Um, <laughs> just joking, of course. So what we're going to do, sprint past El Douchebag, even though he gives us a good whack. Go into this tent on the left-hand side. We need to interact with that laptop. So make sure to press the X button. And this laptop at the back. So make sure, again, to press the X button while you're by, by it. It's... It's very quickly, uh, it can be very quickly done, but go to the left, pick up this red weed moss thing again. Trying to get your head caved in. Press X on the sort of lock, or what I believe is a lock, and basically now um, we are good to go. When the, gray, uh, the screen grows grey and kind of fuzzy like that, that means that we only have sort of one hit left. And apologies for the running about there, I kind of lost my way a little bit, but it is just over the fences that we needed to get. So apologies if that was quite fast-paced, but there's a guy with a crowbar trying to cave our heads in. So, you know, I'm going to try and be quick about it. Anyway, we're going to head to the left after you picked up the item from the table. Now we need to enter a code, and that code is 7139. So that's 7139. Again, if you do a, a little bit of searching around, you will you can usually find the code, but we're not going to be doing that um, because I'm too lazy. So crouch down, and we're going to pick up three red mosses here. First aid kit. Again, if you if you full on, um, if you need that first aid kit and it doesn't pick up, just make sure to press and hold the X button to get your health nice and full, and then pick it up. And then we can just move on, so head to the back, and we're going to be going to the left. This time, though, we need to be staying crouching, thanks to the severely controlled. 
or the mofo with the electric, the one with the weird orgasm scream. Oh, oh wait, I've done that once. <laughs> anyway, be very quiet. I'm um, just sort of going behind her. <laughs> that can mean two things. Um, but basically, what we need to be doing is interacting with the laptop, which is just on the next table. Again, any items that you see, always try and interact with them. Try to pick them up, even if you can't. It's always worth just having a nice full inventory. So make sure that you turn that laptop on. Go towards the left and sort of straight in front of you. It is slightly dark, but there are a bunch of steps that we're going to go up. And once again then, of course, uh, you need to interact with the laptop first, which turns the red lock on that little screen there blue. Pick up again any items, make sure to grab the red weed on the table as well. And again, any items you see, just make sure to pick them up. Interact with the laptop, interact with this sort of blue unlockable button here. But stop when you get to the top of the stairs. Because that happens, so it's a really controlled. So if you start running towards there, man, she's going to electrocute your ass. And that probably hurts, is what I assume. So we just need to wait for her to just nip on over to the left a little bit more. Do not worry, for some reason, if you, as you'll be able to see, me slamming these crates about and stuff. Even though these uh, women are supposed to be really good at hearing, they can't hear anything. So, get in here, boy! <laughs> anyway, what we need to do then is just push this massive crate. Again, this is something that you'd think somebody who can't see, but... The uh, uh, listening is se <laughs> sensed up lovely. Uh, you think they'd be able to hear this crate being pushed, but she doesn't, so that'd be guts. So just keep pushing then until Harper gets to the very end. And she does that automatically, and then we can climb on and climb over. <laughs> so, once we're down, don't worry about the noises for now. We're going to head to the right and just at these steps to get another better little bit of mass weed. Bit of mass weed, there it is on the table. Yeah. Okay, and then we can just head back down, go to the left, and then we're going to head to the right, see the moss weed on the table. Make sure to pick that up. And now we need to be slightly sneaky slash slightly runny. <laughs> runny right. They're runny diarrhea, but pretty much faster, which Harper is not. So we've got a couple of enemies, so what I do here is just slightly take my time. I don't go running just yet, you know, because it's always worth... Uh, there's a bunch of stairs right here as well. So we're going to go up there, make sure to keep your flashlight off. You know, if we can try and avoid it, it'll just be a lot easier for us. So go up these steps right here to grab another bit of moss weed. That is what we are doing. Uh, just grab it a bit more weed. Sticky, sticky weed. There's a little bit in the corner there, so you should have got two and an item as well. So head down the stairs again. Because there are no enemies, just don't worry about it. Just take your time, keep walking. Sadly for me, an enemy starts coming up the steps, so we are going to have to make a, a run for it soon. There he is. Just to the right, as you can see, like a douchebag. So, grab the next bit of weed on the table, try and avoid this guy, and there's one, well, I avoided him as crappily as possible. There's another one on the table, so grab that, run back down the steps, and to the left, again, it's it's kind of tricky to see, but just go through the tent, and there is another bit of moss weed right here, and another item. So, head back out, and then what we're doing then is just climbing over these, we need to be pushing these uh, boxes, Again, it could be random where they start appearing, like here. Wax me on the noggin, and apparently I'm good with that. Wax me on the noggin, get <laughs> three wax of the noggin there. And Harper is an absolute beast. Um, but we are trying to <laughs> just climb over the boxes right there. So just keep going to the left. We should be good now to go, so you can just jump up and then jump on over. Yeah, screw you guys, three of you couldn't take me down, you can suck my bowels. Anyway, this is the next section, we've got to almost try and outrun a machine who now basically can stick a laser straight up our ass. So, first things first, go slightly to the left and turn this laptop on. 
Then go to the right and there's going to be another laptop. As soon as you see the laser on, you need to get behind some cover. It's just definitely worth getting behind some cover. So go to the left, past this gate right here. For some reason, I almost stopped. There is a third laptop. And from that third laptop, you should have gone to the left. Uh, because the fourth laptop is to the steps, to just to the left of us there. It was just to the left of that building, but for some reason... I end up walking around it. So from where the third laptop was, you should have gone left and there was another building or another is like a standalone sort of building with steps that we could have gone up. So apologies about this little run around. But because of the laser and because of the enemies, it can get quite disorientating and quite confusing. So there you go. So it's, it's very scary noises. So there is the fourth laptop anyway. Now, the gates should open up for us, and they should be directly in front of us. So, again, if you can, just try and avoid the enemy. And now what we have to do is actually outrun the machine once again. But it's that kind of weird angles. As soon as you see this, um, the laser sort of pointing on you, get behind a rock or get behind some cover. Just keep doing it every single time. As soon as he starts hitting you, it's run. Just run for your goddamn life. So as you can see, just almost get away with it there. Logs to jump over, so just keep jumping over them. Again, so, so that is literally it then for this bit. Just keep getting into cover because it only takes a couple of seconds for him to get his big boy laser out. And man, does he look pissed if. Uh, keep heading sort of to the left as well as soon as we can, as soon as we're able to go. I almost die, which is not good. But if you sort of keep heading to the left, the camera will eventually switch. Almost get fudged up there as well. But as we get over this second log, we should be coming to the end now. So just keep on running, keep on running. Again, almost fudge my own butthole up. And then it should then... <laughs> camera pans and we have completed this bit. So... Whether they done an update, because apparently it was a lot harder and you used to just die like that. Um, but I don't know if they did an update or anything, but that part was a lot easier for me. And I managed to do that the second time, so hopefully it would be uh, just as easy for you. So, now we are at a sort of, uh, just another another sort of street part now. That, that little bit's over, so make sure to grab this red moss weed between the two cars first. And from the car head to the left... And head to the left again. We're going to be picking up another couple of red moss weeds. There's an item on the bench and there's another bit of weed on that bench right there. Man, Harper is getting baked through this game. No wonder she can take a hit, a couple of hits. Head to the left by this statue and there's another bit of moss weed. I suppose if anyone's that stoned and they get knocked over the head a couple of times, they should be fine. So now we're going to the control checkpoint. By the way, that whole machine section, there's only that that's the only one through the game. So... You shouldn't have to worry about that. You've just got to worry about enemies being douchebags and trying to kill us again. Head to the... Uh, there's a bit of moss weed on this table. So again, just make sure to grab that before moving on. And then sort of head to the right straight down. This area can be potentially slightly confusing. Um, but it, again, it's not it's not too bad when you know where you're going, sort of. So head to the left. There's this lion statue. Um, back past it. To the end of the tent, there's another bit of moss weed, so make sure to pick that up. And if we head up onto this sort of standalone area here, there's another bit of weed on the table and a, and a key and a couple of items there as well. Make sure to grab everything off the table, jump back down, and we're going to be heading back through the tent. So again, if you can, if there are any items that you need, it's always worth grabbing anyway. And we are heading sort of through the middle. And through the open door. And you can have a breathe and a little relaxo rancho. Rancho relaxo for a second. But we're going to be heading into one of these first aid tents. The third one, I believe, has the bit of weed. Red weed extract. And we're going to be heading up to the building that was directly in front of us there. Uh, so yeah, it's nicer when there's no enemies about. You can sort of chill without crapping your pants too much. So we need a code. There is one uh, a code about if you want to have a look for it, but I'll just tell you anyway. It is zero two five six zero two five six, and that is the one that opens up the door. Basically, there's just another whole bunch of weed for us to get baked by. Bakos McWeedos McFleefloss. Yes, I'm a good maker-upper of words. Remember, uh, grab any uh, first aid kit, 
uh, kit that you can. And if you can't pick it up, just make sure to get yourself to full health and then pick it up. Bit of weed extract there on the bottom. So again, just make sure to just literally grab any item that you can see and anything that you can grab. Because it is going to come in handy for us a little later on. So from here then, again, there's no enemies to worry about here. So do not worry. We're going to be heading to the left. We're going to be opening up the gate to an area with enemies. So we head straight forward. You can see um, this little bit we can climb on. Jump down and we basically just need to turn on the laptop. A lot of um, unused and sort of left alone laptops here. And this seems very dodgy and flubbed up. Although if the machines are attacking, then, well, yeah, that's you. you're probably going to be running. You're not taking your laptop with you, are you? So you head back down to the left there and we can go through the gates. Now this is the area where a couple of enemies, but it's quite a wide open space. So we're not going to be stealthing around too much. Uh, but we are going to be grabbing some weed extract as the norm. So there's one directly in front of us on the bench. So I get knocked square in the neck. Up your guts, mate, you missed. Head all the way down, but we're not going to the door yet. We're going to be heading all the way down and going to the left. Head to the right, uh, sort of past these planters here. And all the way to the right there is going to be another uh, red weed extract right next to those lovely sort of um, seats and stuff. What everyone has in their gardens. They look nice. Anyway, we're going to be heading straight. Sort of, well, I'm trying to avoid these guys actually. So now we can just go straight through. We can't actually get through the door. Uh, but there is a bit of weed extract there on the uh, top of the statue, on the top of the staircase. Don't forget to grab that. What we need to do now is head straight, push this crate out of the way. Again, we're going to get whacked. Hopefully, you've done a better job, though, at this game than I have. As soon as we can do that, now we can actually just jump on through. Which, uh, luckily, <laughs> we avoid them, but there is another enemy there. So, you'll have to, again, try to avoid him. Going to the end right here, there is another weed extract. All this for a bit of bloody weed. People have done crazier stuff. They've sucked a lot of penis for a lot of weed. Have a look at all these items on the table, and then we can just climb up onto the scaffolding. Uh, on Pornhub, they do anyway. I don't know if that happens in real life, of course. <laughs> um, and then we can just keep climbing up the old scaffolding. I don't know, kind of looks like a good job, but I'm not a scaffolder. I'll have to get my mate to check that out. See if the uh, developer's done that well. And head through the blue tap hall in. And we are into the hotel now. Delicious. The only problem with this hotel part is... Um, basically, there's a machine later on. If you uh, look in the bathroom, there's a bit of uh, red weed. That's what we're going to be doing. Just um, going through each room. But there is a machine later on that drops down. And if it manages to kill you, you've actually got to start from this section again. So I'll let you know. And I'll... I'll tell you when and where to be careful and where to go so you don't die. Uh, for some reason, Harper cannot open a door. Ah, and here we go. Smashed it. Head into the next room then. There is going to be some red weed on the table. And uh, we're going to just basically keep heading for, uh, to the left. And in uh, every room to room. So we're going to grab some more Redos McWeedos. And we are heading now... Uh, Back into that same room. Did I potentially miss something? Uh, sorry. My mega apologies. I thought I missed something there. Apparently not though. I was. This is the room I was looking for. The one to the right where the next bit of red moss weedy bobs is. And the, again, like I said, there are items popping up all over the place. You just see one in the bathroom, but you can't carry much. So if we head to the right when we get into the main lobby again don't worry about any enemies at the moment i will let you know when they're appearing head to the other side and head through the first set of double doors go to the right and we're going up the staircase to the end of the room and there's going to be some more weed just randomly chilling for us to smoke uh, pick up and not pay the dealer for him. So we're heading back down to the staircase now. And this time we are going through the first door there. And picking up the red moss weed that is on the table by the chest board. Go to the left. And to the left again. Just keep going. And we're heading through this door on the right. Because there's going to be another bit of weed just by this cupboard. Quite well hidden. And there's also a set of keys on the table. So just make sure you pick those up as well by the chessboard. 
A lot of people like to play chess in this hotel. Is this called the Chesterton Hotel? <laughs> anyway, go to the left out of the double doors. And we're going to be heading down to the staircase. We are actually going to be coming up to the room with the machine in it. Now, like I said, I actually died the first time. So I had to start this hotel section at the beginning. Which is a pain in the ass. Make sure to pick up the weed from the table again. And then go directly to your opposite way through the double doors. And through, there's going to be another door coming up eventually there on the left. So, here is the machine then. Go to the left, keep going. There is a, a bit of bleh, moss weed right here. Pick that up as quick as you can and then go back, go around the machine. And then you need to push this vent out of the way. It's very important that you do that because you end up dying the other side. Uh, pick up the key there that's on the table and then go through the door. But be careful again because in the next room there is going to be... Uh, another enemy, so we need to be avoiding him. Don't worry about the um, sort of flashes and everything. Go through the double doors, but be careful here again because there is going to be an enemy there. Uh, so it's definitely worth just taking a chill pill. Another enemy in this room, but make sure to quickly press in the code on the right, left hand side there. The code is 1898. Don't worry about being hit. 1898. Quickly get that code and then just go straight through the door and then just go to the right uh, grab this bit of weed there that was on the table and then sort of head to the left and just push this barrel out the way so it can be a, a slightly a bit tricky but sorry that it was so fast but we need to get the hell on out of here um, don't worry the enemy shouldn't appear now as soon as we get through this gate and do not worry about the sort of flashing of grey that appears you're not dying or anything um, as it is a bit dark, it, it, it can be a bit tricky where to go, but we are basically heading to the left of where we were. Sorry, and the only reason it's going great is because I've only got a quarter of a health bar left, but it does keep coming back. So do not panic, and just don't rush. Um, but it's, there we go. So by the wine cellar there, again, apologies about the confusion. It's slightly dark in here, and I was in a, I genuinely was in a bit of panic mode because I thought I was going to die soon, so... Uh, go straight on and push this big, big bloody barrel out the way. But so, yeah, like I said, if it keeps going great here, don't panic and don't rush. You're not dying. You should be fine. Um, but head to the left and we're going to see some, a uh, bit of, a couple of items and some weed. Hopefully you've got first aid kit on you um, as well. I haven't, so that's why I've had to leave it as this. Um, go back to the same barrel and then push it um, up once again. And it's the bloody music as well. The music made it so tense. I thought I was dying. So I was crapping my pants. Um, straight directly in front of you there was a, another red bit of moss weed by the fireplace. Go to the left. Go through this open door. Down to the bottom there. And there's some more weed for us to smoke. Make us feel a little better, you know, after being smashed on the head a couple of times. Now we need to climb up this hole in the wall. And then just go to the left. So, yes, again, apologies about the sort of quick explanations and everything um, about that. But there's so much happening. So, so much, so much happening. So many things going on. Uh, but hopefully you managed to get through that in one piece. I think the checkpoint should have been okay um, after you got past the machine. But I do hope that was the case because that was a horrible checkpoint in that hotel. Anyway, we are now into the sewers. Now, this bit isn't too bad in terms of enemies as we find another bit of weed just um, inside this sort of little alley right here. As we head to the left again, we're going to be heading up. Um, but there are the electrical enemies. Um, whatever they're called, the she-devil wolf biatches. Make sure to grab that bit of weed as you jump down as well. But we got them to deal with, so remember they are fast as well. So it's definitely worth sneaking about. But again, I will let you know and tell you. So there's three bit of weed that we need to pick up there. And just go back on yourself. Uh, crouch down and go to the left. Oh man, I think we all need a break from my voice. Sadly, that's not going to happen for you anytime soon. <laughs> hey, unlucky. So this, uh, these are where the two enemies are then. So it's definitely worth now uh, as we jump up over this part. Uh, apologies, it's not actually where they are now. Uh, we're heading left into this room. And then we're going to be heading left again. There's another three bit of weed for us to grab there. 
And again, like I said, the, the one good thing about this, this game is the music. The intensity of the music is incredible. And it does make you absolutely poop your pants. Uh, which is what I'd done in the last section. And that's why it was going so quick. Because I didn't realise there was enemies all up in my grill. So we're heading to the right there. And sort of going back on yourself over the next one. And then just head into the room on the left. Uh, what we need to do now is make another water bomb or a water jar. Better not call it a better not call it a bomb. We'll probably get arrested and the FBI will be on my ass. Make it pressing the Y button and then of course just give it a throw and that'll destroy the electricity. Go into the next room as well and then we've got a, a, just a couple of few bits to do here. Again, pick up all items that you can. They always come in. Hi, Andy. Oh, hi, Andy. And to just go through into the next room there. And there is, on the left, you've just seen a little bit of red moss weed. And there is the wheel, uh, the valve wheel. So now we can use that on a place that we haven't been to yet. So head to the right as we get out of the rooms. So just head straight on this little bridge. Go to the left. And if you go to the end, there is another three... There's a triple weed baggage right there. And now we can use the wheel, press the X button, open it up, and head on true. So when we're through, have a look on the right hand side, just by that big old cannon looking boy, there's another bit of weed, more items if you need them to pick them up, otherwise we're going to climb on up, climb on up and head, just basically head over the fence. And uh, we can now use red barrels to blow up any enemies and anything that is in our way. We honestly won't be doing that much in the game, uh, but press the X button there. Get rid of this barrel. Don't go close to it because you'll explode your boobies off. And again, I assume that schnit will hurt. It's what we do. We don't want blown enough titties. No, 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 no. We're trying to survive, not have no boobs and no bows. So we're going to climb through. Now, this is another part, sadly, with quite another long checkpoint. This is where the checkpoint is, but we're going to be coming up to a room full of electric women. <laughs> oh, electric, baby. Um, so we basically need to get through those electric women, and if you end up dying or have to go for some reason, this is the point you will start from, which is, again, slight pain in the ass, but it, how, it is how it goes. So make sure you would have picked up that uh, bit of red weed extract in the previous room, head to the exit, head to the right first to grab another bit of weed extract, and then we can head just down, we're going to be heading to the left, And these are where the electric bitches are. The electric stupid goddamn fast sons of bitches. So you can run, um, but personally I found it just better and easier to just sneak on by. So we're going to head to the second, uh, second sort of room right here. It's all one big room. Now remember, if the uh, reticle goes red, just of course remember to sort of um, get yourself into a position where you can stand still. Or stay still so they can't actually get you. So just head on back out. And then if you want to, just make a break for it. Without getting caught indoors so you don't actually die in that. Uh, so hopefully, you know, that would have just been... But for me, that was just a bit easier. You might be able to just run straight through and job done. But, you know, you always want to make your life a bit easier. So head to the left on this bridge right here. Keep going down. We're going to um, go to the right and to the right again. And there's a room that we need to be going in. There it is. The only one in the left room. Make sure to grab this bit of weed extra by the cannon. And then what we're going to do then is head oh, back to the... <laughs> as long as we know exactly where I'm going, there's only one way to go. And that is to the left. And to the left again, we're going to be heading under the hole. So squeeze your head through this tight, unlubed hole right here. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. And then head up through this big, massive hole. <laughs> it's been a long while. So, jump back down. Ignore the bloody noises for now. But we are coming up to the room with a lot of electric women in it. 
And now, normally, in the real world, you want a lot of electric women, that would be nice, but not in this world. So, here we go then. So make sure to sneak while you're on top of the stairs. Go in the room and then immediately just back out of it. And there it is. So two are going to appear. There is no point running because when you go down the steps, it's just going to be full of electric women. So, again, press up on the D-pad, choose rock, and then... Now, what genuinely happened the first time was I threw one and they both started walking down the stairs so then we could go behind them. And uh, then we could just sneak past them. For some reason, at the time of this recording, they decided not to do that. So we had to just figure something else. So if you can, just try and throw a rock to the right-hand side as much as you can. And then you should be able to just sneak by. Um, but it can be tricky because of the randomness of where these uh, electrical women decide to go. But remember, you can... Get, you can sneak past them and you can get quite close to them. So don't think that you've got to be like a, you know, like a couple of miles away or something. Like a million miles away to get past them. You can sneak past just about. Uh, oh. oh, hey baby. Sorry, I'm blind. I didn't mean to bump into y'all. So as they're in this position, this should now be fine for us to carry on. But for some reason, uh, generally because of the checkpoint, I was being a bit fannyish about it. But it should be good. Uh, so the the one woman on the right's gone. So now we are going through to the left. I should have gone uh, very much sooner, to be honest. But that's what we got rocks for. Distractionos, eh? Mother flipanos. So here we go. Now it does look like this room can be very, very tricky. But it's actually not so bad. Like I said, if the reticle turns red, just make sure to um, put yourself in a position where you're actually behind something. And just stay completely still. So, just let her carry on to the left a bit and then go to the right. You should be fine from this point. Uh, apologies if not though, but you should, you know, be absolutely fine. We're going to sort of head to the right hand side. Not going directly beneath... Um, Electrical chickadee right here. Again, all the screaming and that sounds like they're close, but they're not. So just don't panic about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, we need to be going into the same room as Electric 6 right here. I want a ticket to a gamer. I want a ticket to a... There is a key. Sorry, I love that sound. But there is a key that we need to be grabbing, so make sure to grab that and then back straight out. Again... Do not walk and do not run, because there are a few rooms with these electric uh, six women in it. I just like the band Electric Six, that's what I'm going to call them from now on. Um, and then we should be able to just go straight. And that will get us the exit out of this room. Again, do not run just yet, because as we uh, exit up these stairs, you can already see them. There's a couple about, but what we're going to be doing... If you need a course to uh, distract these women with a rock, get a rock out, chuck it over there, as I do. Uh, just in case you're a bit more paranoid that they can see you, but we're heading directly to the left. Uh, because we're just going to head under this vent right here. Uh, just sort of, you know, give yourself a little bit of safe space. Safe and spicing, you know. And then just take a look, make sure that there is no women coming up here, because we're going to be heading to the sort of far left. And to the next room. i got to give the props to Harper. I can barely squat on my legs for more than a second without crumbling like a piss ant. So the way she crawls constantly uh, in the squat stance is incredible. Back straight as well. It's unbelievable. So <laughs> but just keep... Uh, that's probably because I'm old and decrepit now. But that's fine. That's fine. So again, for some reason you think these electric six women have amazing hearing, but they can't actually hear us uh, opening this door. Again, that comes in mega handy for us because we'd be dead a lot of the time. Again, <laughs> seriously, it does always sound like the women um, or enemies just get thrown directly into your position. But they don't, so just head around these boxes. We need to wait for this little shickadee to head on past. You're fast enough to run when you can hear us, but oh no, you take your bloody time when you walk. Yeah, bloody pisshead. This is just a normal night for everyone's town, this isn't it? Except for all the uh, electric around and stuff. Unless people are that sort of LSD'd up, that's what they think they are. 
So make sure she's to the right as far as possible and just keep, don't stop, just keep going. She does sort of have a little inkling and has a little hearing, but she won't actually chase you as long as she's as far to the right as possible. Okay then, so we're not quite done. We're almost done, but we're not quite done. Still got a couple of enemies at the top. Um, to be sort of getting through but we are coming up this is the last section now uh, apologies I didn't actually die at this point so I'm not sure where the checkpoint is um, if you do end up dying uh, apologies about that uh, but as we open the door then keep crawling again uh, there is another bit of red moss weed wait for little chicken dude to head on past head on past with that electric gas oh yeah Oh, come on. They dress quite nice for, um, you know, machined up. Just electric women who want to just destroy you for no reason. Nice, you dress better than me. I dress like a goddamn tramp most days. But that's fine, because you never see me. Anyway, she goes off to the right. We are heading up the stairs. Like I said, again, if the reticle turns red, just... Slow down, take your time with it. There is no need to bloody rush. Um, here we are at the top of the stairs. There's the exit to the left of us, but what we're doing is going to the right first because we're going to be heading through this door and getting another bit of red weed. As you can see there, I just stopped completely still uh, as it turned red. Just make sure to pick up the weed, McFweed. Now, we do have three of these little... Little ideas to get through. Again, for you, they could be in random positions. For me, they were all bunched together. Um, I did try distracting them. They seem to not hear that. <laughs> Even though they supposedly have amazing hearing. My ass. Uh, so again, just try and distract these women by throwing a rock literally just to the other side. Now, you should be good to go. As long as you sort of chuck the rock where I did there. And again, if, if you're feeling a bit paranoid, they're going to come round. Just chuck another rock just over there. But you should be good. As soon as you get through this exit door, you should now be good to just literally sprint straight through. And that is finally the end of this section. There's nothing else that we need. Run through, and that is that. We have made it. Come on. And we are literally... It's about 20 minutes or so from the game's end. So now we're going to be getting all the upgrade achievements. So, again, like I said, if you needed to get the upgrade achievements first, then obviously you'll need to just replay the game, get enough um, red moss weed to be able to do all this again. So what we're going to do there is get all the Harper upgrades first. Then as soon as we exit, well, the achievement will unlock now. So what we need to do now is um, exit out. For some reason, you can't actually restart the checkpoint when you're actually in the upgrade menu. <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. So, as soon as you get the Harper upgrades, uh, it, it's definitely better to do it in this order. Uh, just trust me, it's better to get the Harper upgrades first. And for the rest of the upgrades, the weapon upgrades, we are definitely going to need the weapon upgrades. Or the crafting upgrades, sorry. I've said upgrades about a million times. But it's better to get the crafting upgrades for the rest of the game. So grab all them. That will give us the achievement. If you've been following along what I've done, you should have enough to also get a little bit extra health as well. Which is going to come in handy. So hopefully you... Um, would have got that if you haven't don't worry there are still a lot of um weed extracts to be gotten and another couple of upgrade tents we can grab as well so don't panic if you haven't got it but um go ahead and make a couple of rubber bombs that is going to come in handy for a missable achievement later on and a water jar and a shocker so the water jar the shocker and a couple of rubber bombs as many as you can make i think i made two there so we're going to pick up all of the items again and again, this is after that section. This is another sort of chill little area where there are no enemies for the time being. Uh, for now, anyway. But again, it might get, it does get a little bit tense a little later on. Um, but for now, we're just going to head into this building. And all we're going to do is just picking up items, as many items as we can find, uh, because we will be needing a lot more. Uh, crafting upgrades, etc. 
And like I said, if you want to still be collecting the red weed upgrades or the red weed for um, any of the Harper upgrades, of course, you are more than welcome to do that. But since we got both of achievements, um, I will still be picking up a couple, but I won't actually be upgrading Harper anymore. So uh, we need to be uh, interacting with that, with that switch that's going to open up a little gate for us outside. So head on back out. The refuge. Oh, I yeah, got my British flag out, mate. Proper British, me. I'm a British person with British... Bleh. I only like everything British. I like my prostitutes British. And I like my beer British. I like my moustaches British. I like my men British. Etc, etc. So anyway, I'm going to shut my goddamn trap. We're going to head down. <laughs> We're going to head to the left. And again, there's going to be another couple of items uh, just on the shelf here. And this is these are where the enemies appear so f a few times we're going to be doing us a, a bit of stealth for a lot though we are going to be running so head to the right try not to get hit like i just did um head to the left basically <laughs> i end up completely messing up here but you need to be going to the left all the way to the left and just keep keep going to the left and then go around that is what you need to do. Uh, I do mess up, uh, so apologies for this. But you need to be going sort of to the left as much as you can. <laughs> get in my way, douchebag. To the left as much as you can, all the way around. And that is where we can get to the other side. So I do apologize there um, for just misleading you. Please don't hate me, because I love you guys. As soon as we can get that, then we can quickly crawl through before we get knocked on the noggin again, which I almost did. And, again, I've only got a quarter of health, which I seem to be doing a lot for this last part of the game. <laughs> but we're going to be heading out. Hopefully you've got a first aid kit um, that we can use. But we're going to head straight through. Go uh, into the next uh, sort of the building, whatever the bloody hell it's got. I can't even remember what it's called. British building. And then we're going to the left side building. I really can't remember what it's called. My brain is gone down to Mushakos at the minute and uh, we're going to be pushing oh in fact sorry we're not going to be pushing we're going straight out my apologies again um, but we this is another checkpoint actually so if you do end up dying this is another checkpoint here which is always nice because these guys are starting to piss me off I don't know about you they are starting to do my fat old blown off titties in as you can see, I had to edit it out a little bit. So, again, what you can do is... Now, basically, we are coming up to a missable achievement, and that is for getting three guys... Killing three guys with one rubber bomb. So, head to the left, inside, and then grab the keys. Quickly run out as fast as you can without tr getting hit in the head with the sledgehammer. Which, again, which would be nice. And then go behind these boxes, straight through... And then just run back out again. There's going to be some more enemies. So, tr oof, again, try not to get hit. I somehow end up missing the stairs. And then we can just jump straight in and just go straight back out through to the other side as well. We need to pick up a key as well. So make sure to pick that up on the table as we exit. And Again, I hope you're better at playing the game than I am. It just shows you how... Like, pathetically bad you can be, as I'm showing you, and you can still survive. <laughs> More enemies are going to appear. This is where we're going to be getting the rubber bomb achievement. So, uh, just head, just keep running, keep sprinting through the lorries. And we're going to get, we're going to the building on the far side. I get whacked again, as per usual. And just go immediately directly into the right room here. Now, the guys shouldn't be able to come out now. The guys should not be able to come out. Uh, or come through the door, sorry, which is fantastic news for us. But we need three of these to be um, all around. So, uh, what I was doing first was trying I was trying to wait for a guy to open the door. There are three that are about, so you may just have to head back out. Make sure that one guy uh, finds you. There we go, look. So it may be a bit tricky to get them all together. Stay away a little bit from the door and then just try and throw one out the door. There you go. So I managed to get one. So as soon as the door opens and you see three guys, just make sure to throw a rubber bomb. And then it should be uh, good enough. 
Um, it can be a bit of a pain in the butt, but as long as you've managed to craft two or three like I did, uh, like I said, as soon as they open the door, throw one out, and that should then kill three guys. Can be you know, slightly annoying to try and grab, but there we go. So we finally kill someone, but there is only one guy left. Now I'm not taking the chance of and risk of trying to get past him and trying to get Sledge hammered in the snogging right there in the old nog nog. And then I think, you know what? Up your guts, pal. I'm out of here, baby. Head to the left of the lorries and then just keep running all the way down. Singing, ah, yeah, yippee. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong one. So, what we're going to do here, this one, if you haven't got full health, this may be slightly tricky for you. Now, I've only got enough health to be hit twice before I die, and uh, don't get me wrong, I died a couple of times. So, just wait until the guy on the right, if you've only got a little bit of health like me, wait until the guy on the right is as far right as he can, as he can possibly be. Um, it's not worth distracting him, there's no point because he'll see you. So just make a break for it now. And again, avoid these guys in the middle. And then just go towards the container on the left. Jump up as quick as you can. This guy does hit you, but that you should be home free. Now, it can be annoying in terms of where those... The, the last guy that hit me, it can be annoying in terms of where those guys are placed. Because... Annoyingly, they can be randomly just placed, uh, placed, placed right in front of you. Or for me, luckily, they were just on the bit of the right-hand side. But as long as you only get, don't get hit at all through the first couple of main guys there, then you should be fine. Otherwise, this is a nice little easy bit. We just interact with this panel, and then we're done in about 13 minutes' time. So we're not quite done, but we're almost done. When will it end? Please let me in, I've been bashed over the head with a sledgehammer about a thousand times in the game. For God's sakes, man! I'm just a lonely woman! With bigger muscles than me! Oh no, the evacuation starts at 9pm tonight. I was in a plane crash, I think I... Huh? Congratulations on surviving it. You're doing better than most. There's a processing desk through there. Go to it and I'll give you a bay. Beware, you know. There aren't many of us left. <laughs> Tidy boys, we have made it, or so we think. So, now for once, I'm actually going to shut my goddamn titties up, and I'm just going to let you enjoy this little bit of peaceful section. I've talked a lot through this video, so very sorry, but just all we're doing is walking. Just enjoy. Okay. Oh great, so finally get through all that, and we still got more to do. Oh god. Alright, you dongbag. Screw you, douchehead. So, what's going on? Um, annoyingly, we've still got quite a bit to do. We're about 10 minutes from finishing the game though, so that's always something to look forward to, right? So head up on the ship, and what we're doing is heading to the right. Uh, ship can get quite confusing. Just head to the right and then head down all the way down to the end of the hallway. And then we can go left through this little door. And straight left again. We're going up. Up and at them. Straight to the right. We're going back down. Down and at them. And to the left. And then we're just going all the way to the end until we can get to the left. Go through this door which says danger on it because that is what you just normally do, isn't it? And then as soon as that happens, then we've got a fog alarm. So now we've got to go back to the right, go all the way down, and then we're basically just heading straight back up now. 
because the machines decided it wants it doesn't want us to survive it wants us to die again we're going through the door that says danger for some reason which you can head out and then a little cutscene's gonna happen and then we're gonna be like holy shit man what's going on so head directly behind you we're going back inside Danger, danger, get back inside before you get your ass blown to bits. Head down, go to the left. And to the left, uh, sorry, to the right, my apologies, oh god. To the right, we're going basically just back where we came from. So apologies about that, again, for a third time. And then we're just going to head out. And just head down the steps, and that is basically going to end this section. Man, that is a frightful noise. Much more fri <laughs> a more frightful noise than me on the toilet after an Indian and a night out. Sorry, you didn't need to know that. So then, this is the last section of the game, the beach section. So, directly in front of you and to the left, there should be two first aid kits. So, make sure to use the first... Uh, first aid first full full first aid kit to get yourself some uh, full health pick up the other one and then we should be good to go now this area only has one enemy on it but do not run because we've got a couple of things to do and he's basically going to whack us over the noggin so make sure to get your shocker ready remember the one we used uh, in the last area the shocker bomb so just make sure to get that. Go as far to the left and sort of stay in the shadows as much as you can. And then just sort of keep heading straight. There is only one enemy, but obviously he's quick and he can knob you up. So when you know that you're far, far enough, now we need to get the shocker and explode some of these rocks. But you need to get it dead on the center right there and that should be good enough. Uh, now the guy's going to be coming after us now. Obviously you hear an explosion, you automatically go for there. Bam, wax us in the dick. Sorry, uh, the woman balls. Twice. The nice blood splatter. But we should be good to go now. So just head to the right. This guy, leave us alone. It, sort of. Uh, but there are going to be a bunch more enemies. So nothing we can do here. Just keep running and keep avoiding. So go straight. Avoid this guy on the left and sort of go through the benches. Uh, we need to sort of get around this debris right here. So try and avoid this guy if you can as well. Good dodging there, Mrs. Harper. Go all the way down to the seafront. Now this bit's not too bad. It, it's only the first bit there which gave me a couple of problems because the shocker bomb. <laughs> shocker wasn't working, but we're going to be heading through this boat right here. Again, there's a guy on the right. Just keep ignoring the enemies. They can all suck a chode. Um, just head, keep heading sort of straight. We're going through this sort of submarine or whatever the hell this is. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. There are going to be another couple of enemies here. So, again, just avoid this enemy. Go behind him. Ha <laughs> ha, loser. And we can see a wooden fence. This is where we're going to be heading. We need to now push this wooden box out of the way. Push it just a little bit. Um, and then we should be good now to just keep on running straight. And that should Finally, be that. No more enemies. We are basically done with... We're basically done with the game now. There's going to be another, you know, walking section where Harper's all injured and she's like... <laughs> can't breathe properly. <sighs> but we've got a little couple of things to do here first. So head around the wooden fence. You see the goal there. You can't get the achievement there if you missed it earlier on. But it's at the beginning of the game anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Uh, go through the hall. We need to be pushing this bin out of the way because there is a key on the floor that we're going to need. <laughs> Excuse me, sniffing in the microphone like a pig. Sorry. Um, <laughs> now you think you'd just be able to pick it up, but you know, video games and such doesn't always work like that. So push it, the bin out of the way enough. You can grab the key and then we can just head around to the front door and be able to grab that. Oh, yes, it's been a wonderful adventure, Harper, but honestly, you can sack a ball sack. I'm, yeah, this game was, um, again, don't worry about the music, the bloody intensity of the music. 
is basically the final cutscene. Hooray! But yes, in terms... Oh, actually, sorry, we've got one more little thing to do. We're actually inside the machine. Swallowed us whole. So we got an unlimited amount of shocker bombs right here. And all we need to do then is just throw these shocker bombs at uh, these certain uh, things. So that the uh, left-hand side top engine right there. Pick up another one. Um, the screen, the right-hand side screen. It can be a bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. I, it took me a while to realise I had to throw them at the screens. And the one on the left, make sure to grab that. Uh, the, nothing at all that needs doing. Uh, the thing directly in front of us, make sure to be uh, slamming that down. And there is one more thing that we need to destroy. Eventually. <laughs> Again, honestly, I found the best thing about this game. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I lied. There, there wasn't anything else. So, happy days. Sorry, guys. I have lied a couple of times, haven't I? But um, this is it now. So, again, the music has stopped because of uh, potential copyright issues. I don't have to render it all again, etc., etc. Um, but literally, we're just going in a straight line now until we get to the end of the game. Um, but my views on the game, slightly disappointing, if I'm being honest. Uh, I thought there was going to be a lot more to it rather than... Just being hit over the head with a sledgehammer and dealing with electrical enemies. Um, yeah, they just... I don't know. I felt like there could have been a lot more to it. In terms of the big machines, I thought there was going to be a lot more to do with the big machines. Rather than just run away from one. Um, overall, not a bad game. Not a bad game in the slightest. Um, but I felt like it doesn't do the sort of films and the books and everything a lot of justice um so slight disappointment on that edge there um but you know still not a bad game you know achievements are easy enough as well so if that's what you're after then you can a beat it um but you know we're just going to keep on heading in a straight line you just keep on enjoying this last few uh moments for a little bit and i'll rejoin when we get to the end So, this is it then. As soon as we turn the corner, that will be the end of the game. The guy's going to be like, bruv, why did you actually leave in the first place? You just, you're a bit, you're a bit thick really for leaving, ain't you? And you look like crap, so, why leave? Just stay here, have a couple of pints, and wait for all this to blow over. Yeah, 
Shoulder the Dead reference? Eh, I hope you got that. Oh. Ha ha! Anyway, so, you know, with that being said, with my uh, potential disappointment, I hope that you guys and gals enjoyed the game. Hopefully the guide helped as well. I know there's a lot of talking in it, but there was a lot to do. But, like I said, hopefully you guys and gals enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide and that it did help as well. Um, if it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Consider sharing this with a friend or family member or share it anyway if you want. Uh, don't forget, of course, to check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Uh, talking of which, big shout out to everyone on Patreon for the continued support. I really, really do, do appreciate it. You guys and gals are fantastic, and I love you. And, well, that is that thing, guys and gals. So thank you again so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Big love. <laughs>